there's a couple of filters that are really useful to do quick color correction. And let's take a look at this shot of the Niagara Falls. I shot this through the window of my hotel. It's a time lapse. And what I want to do is fix several problems. First of all, uh, the shadows are really, you lost a lot of information. And if we go over to the effects tab, we can choose an effect that a lot of people aren't aware of, and that's called shadows and highlights. If you work in Photoshop, you might be familiar with this, but I can simply drop this filter on this clip, and it automatically opens up my shadows and brightens the image where I can now take it to the next level. So I brightened it up a little bit, I have a color cast, and instead of going to the Lumetri color filter, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to go to something called the fast color corrector and do a very quick white balance. So I'm gonna grab the fast color corrector, I'll throw it on the clip, I'm now gonna step into the effects control tab and sample what I want to tell it to be white. So I'm gonna scroll down, there's our shadow and highlights. There we go, I'm gonna simply have a white balance selector, I'll click on that. I want to pick something that's neutral. I don't want to pick something that's too bright. Probably that should be white, but is either tinted blue. So let's go ahead and sample this water here. And you can see we're already getting to a more normal color balance. You can always try this a second time if the first time doesn't really fix the problem. I could select something that's a little bluer. And it's fixing it, but I want to enhance the amount of blue that we're removing. So I'm going to go ahead and slide down and simply grab this little tab here and I can draw it out and this is gonna pull more blue out of my image and you're seeing now that it's actually becoming more natural to the eye. Finally, I do wanna lighten this image up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one more filter and that's simply the brightness and contrast filter. And I'll select that. I typed in brightness into my search parameter. I'll drop that on and now in the effects control tab, I can simply go down and all I wanna do is brighten up the image a little bit and I'm gonna increase the contrast so there's a little more punch. And just so we can see what it looked like before compared to what it looks like now, I'm gonna select the clip in the timeline and do a match frame to the original clip by hitting the F key. And as you can see, looking at the left pane and the right pane, that we were able to very quickly make this shot a lot more usable and a lot better looking. If you wanna learn more about color correcting and the Lumetri color filter and much more, Join us in Adobe Premiere Pro CC Video Editing, The Complete Guide with me, Abba Shapiro.